Hey everyone, Video Game Lover here, and I promised this video like a few weeks ago, <laughs> a little late on this, but I am decided to do a video uh, reminiscing Mario Kart Double Dash in a more better way. First of all, this is not my gameplay, this is a YouTube user named um, Eduardo Sinistera. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Uh, he gave me permission to use the gameplay, so I am going to give him a shout out and a link in the video under this video for his channel. But anyways, Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, this game came out November of 2003, and I still remember when this game first came out at that time. I think I'm going to go and say the end of November was when we really played the game. Me and my older brother and his friend. Um, we played this game religiously for winter of 2003 into 2004. And I remember just having so much fun with this game. Um, and what I love about this game is to so many teams and characters you can add to your car. As you know, this is the only Mario Kart to this day to have two people in a car. Um, and you could just have so many options. You got Bowser Jr. and Diddy Kong. You got Bowser and Donkey Kong. You can have almost anyone you want. It was like the character roster was so massive. It was 20 characters. That is like more than what uh, Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit only had eight. Double Dash had 20. I mean, that's insane. That's over double of the characters. But that, that was the one thing that took me off guard about this game. Um, what Another thing I just really love about this game is just the controls. I feel rival to the, th the DS one, and in some ways Mario Kart 7, I feel that this has one of the best controls. Everything feels right about this game. The turning, the, the drifting, everything feels right. The cart movements, it, it, the controls are very responsive. Um, the items are pretty good. I think they're very well balanced, but this is when the blue shell star to make its infamous appearance. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but it's mainly 150cc and mirror mode. That you could run into blue shells like crazy and it gets pretty damn frustrating but oh man it, it just blows my mind that this game is 15 years old um i still think it looks fantastic i think even for 2018 this game still looks beautiful i feel a lot of gamecube games look beautiful even to this day they just have that interesting art style for a lot of these uh gamecube games but this game still looks very well made still looks great and also I forgot to mention the wonderful music uh, Mario Kart Double Dash has a very good soundtrack uh, Mushroom City which is right here is one of my favorite songs of this game next to Rainbow Road and of course Bowser's Castle which by the way about that Bowser's Castle as I showed you in the stream a few weeks ago that is one of my favorite Bowser's Castles of all time because I love the music and I also love um, the scenery, the Bowser statue shooting fireballs at you, the lightning and thunder, the green skies. I mean, it really made that castle very ominous. Um, just so much fun. I mean, and, th and the reason Double Dash holds a special place in my heart is this was the first Mario Kart that back in 2004, I 100%ed. I, I helped out my older bird to 100% this game. I actually beat the All Tour Cup on Mirror Mode when I was only 10 years old. Yeah. And this Mario Kart game isn't like you can just simply turn. No, no, no. It requires some skill. This game can be pretty difficult at times. Especially when, when you're new at it. Because you have to get uh, used to the whole um, double characters and things like that. Switching characters and things like that. Another cool feature of this game is every character has a special item, which is really dope. This is the first Mario Kart to do that since Super Mario Kart, but unlike Super Mario Kart, it's only used for computers. The special items are for the first player as well, which is really awesome. 
the special items are fantastic. Especially, I love the Bowser shell. The Bowser shell is just amazing in this game. But, you know, I remember some of the frustrations my older brother had with his friend. They used to get so annoyed when they couldn't beat Rainbow Road. I remember them being real bad at the game at first. Oh, man. And I, rem I still remember like it was yesterday. I used to have a big bowl of Doritos guacamole. Do you remember that flavor of Doritos? The Doritos guacamole. I used to eat that all the time. That was winter of 2003 and in the 2004 in a nutshell. It was Doritos guacamole, watch some Nick Arcade on Nickelodeon Gas, and play nothing but Mario Kart Double Dash and the GameCube, such as Turok, that Turok game, and Time Splinters 2. I mean, like I said, I just had so many memories with the Nintendo GameCube and all that. But yeah, I just want to showcase to you guys um, why I absolutely love Double Dash so much. It is by far one of my favorite games on the Nintendo GameCube. And rival to the Mario Kart DS and N64, it's probably my favorite Mario Kart of all time. I, I just love this game so much. And I hope um, if you haven't been able to get a chance of playing this game, I highly recommend it. It's one of the top 10 best GameCube games of all time and I just really love Mario Kart Double Dash so thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys on my next video please peace